Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to do is talk about the Rope Runner Pro, um, using it in the MRS system and with the senders. Last week I used it um, doing a body thrust, but today I want to work on the senders with it. All right, let's get to it. So just real quick, um, explaining what this Rope Runner Pro is. It's a mechanical friction hitch. It works in the SRS system and a MRS system. It works a couple of different ways, which is great. Um, if you're going to use it, um, you want to use ropes, if you're going to use it with ascenders, you want to use ropes that are compatible with ascenders, not just a regular climbing line. Ascenders uh, that aren't compatible can puff this up and um, you can really ruin your line. So what, what I'm going to do today is, um, last, last couple videos ago I did uh, this using the SRS system and also I did it with a body thrust. You might want to check those videos out. It's a real smooth... Uh, mechanical uh, tool it's, it's really nice to use but today what I'm going to do is just use it with a senders and just show how it works what I've already done is I've thrown this line over a branch so in the MRS system you you throw your rope over a branch and it moves so the whole system moves every time you take a step up or you know if your body thrusting it'll move in that way um, what, I, what I'm going to do is attach this to my belt um, a real quick explanation though, um, last time I attached it, or you know a couple, I've been trying this out a little here and there. If I attach it to my belt in this way, this gets in the way of the bird, this, uh, the upline. So what you want to do is if you're attaching it, probably attach it in this way. And if you have maybe a spacer, that would even help you um, to keep it away from the bird. But what I like to do is attach it to my side rings. So... It, it really when I do that it it stays um, away from me like away from the bird it's pretty wide open so this is the way I like to attach and it actually stays way far away um, there's a good enough space um, really simple concept all you got to do is for me I'll put it to my chesty so this um, it won't flop down if, if I didn't have it connected high um, if I were going to use the ascender it would probably flop down a little um, it would still work You'll just lose a little bit of uh, maybe um, length, I guess. So here we go. I'm going to attach it to my knee, uh, my foot ascender. So put it in my foot ascender. And then just, just like if you were using the SRS system, you start walking up the line. Now, you got to remember that because your rope, you can't tie something to the bottom. It will um, hang up on you a little. Um, and it, because it's moving you really can't put anything to weight it down but right here so it's kind of like as I'm going it's kind of like a half step and it feels like I'm in slow motion um, and, and I honestly I think if if I'm body thrusting I can grab high and I pull big length and then I'll I'll tend it but in this ascending it does make it a lot easier I'm not really under any stress but it's really pretty slow, <laughs> you know? But it is pretty nice. I mean, it's saving my arms. I don't really have to pull with my arms. It's more just uh, really slow, <laughs> but it works. I mean, if it's something you wanted to have, nice thing. Yeah, then you, you know, get up in the tree, just unhook. And I mean, if you were up in the branches, you could just walk around. So now that I got in the canopy, what I would do is um, unhook my, my trigger snap from my chesty. And then I'd be ready to go ahead and work. Um, going up the tree with a, a sender using an MRI system definitely um, takes a lot longer. Every step you take is like half of a step um, compared to an SRS system. And then if I compare it to body thrusting, it's, it, I think in body thrusting, you do more of a, you, you get more of a, a pull. So let me go back down a little. So if I'm, if I'm body thrusting, I'll grab the rope here. I'll pull up, I'll hold it. I'll probably get more of a pull in body thrusting, but heck of a lot more energy uh, in body thrusting. Easier on my arms if I'm using a center, just takes longer. 
couple of things that I've been noticing though, is that I am still pretty new at this Rope Runner Pro. I was noticing when I'm using the SRS system, I'm gripping this like this with two fingers, two on each side, and I, I pull to descend. Now I'm noticing with the MRS system, I, I tend to put my palm here and my thumb, and it's pretty, it's been pretty okay smooth. Still not great at it, <laughs> and I'm still getting used to it, but it is pretty nice when you when you start using it. So kind of just like a, a friction hitch. So and then you got to remember that if you're doing the MRS, you can't grab a solid post. Your rope moves on you. So you grab your line and then you you sound and it comes in. But yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, now I'm going to use a foot and knee ascender to go up the tree. I'm only going to go, you know, like 15 feet up. Maybe not even the whole 15. More just to show what it can do using uh, the knee ascender and a foot ascender. So the one I have is a Haas Velox, Velox uh, clip and step. I'll tighten my line. I'm going to connect. Yeah, well, we did a video on this last week and um, you might want to check it out. It's the Velox, our easy ascending, our fastest knee ascender, something like that. Anyhow, I'll clip this to my chesty and then I'm going to connect to uh, my, my foot loop. And let's see. Slide it in, clip it, and I'm ready to go. So now that I got both ready to go I'm gonna take a step up or a few steps let me see see how many steps I need to take before I start using the knee ascender okay I'll try by here now I'll open up my knee ascender connect it to the rope lock it in and then I'll see if I can proceed up the line I'm noticing a, a lot more drag on my foot ascender and it's because I don't have a way to um to like put weight on my line it's actually pretty nice actually this is a lot better than just using a foot ascender you got a lot more movement and then when I'm ready to set stop oops Take a little pressure off my knee, open up my knee ascender, lock it in, take off my chesty, and I'll probably take it off of my chest completely and just put it to the side. Yeah, and then my foot ascender. And then, you know, if I got to the top of the tree, um, work it, or if I feel like going down like I'm gonna do, and just descend down. Let's see. That was actually a heck of a lot more smooth than uh, the foot ascender by itself. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, uh, yeah, this is a heck of a lot easier with the knee and the foot ascender. Really pretty fluid and it was almost close to SRS, I would say. Yeah, not really. <laughs> because you still have, as the rope's moving, and you're going up, you're still like half steps. But as far as going up, well, heck, I'm pretty heavy. And, you know, if I were going to body thrust the line, heck, it would take me forever to do that. By the time I got to that 15 foot mark, I'd probably be really sore here. Um, I'm winded. I'm out of shape and heavy. <laughs> what are you going to do? But I was able to go from here to a 15 foot mark easy. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good situation. Hey, there's something really cool that I didn't know about. I was messing around with uh, the top bird here, and I noticed that, like, because I was uh, when I was opening it, I was clicking the buttons or the clicks, and then I was putting my finger in here. But you know, there's a groove in here. All you got to do is put it into the groove, and when you turn it in the groove, it clicks, and then it you don't have to op you know take it all the way off. You see, and if you really want to take it all the way off, you put it back in the groove, you twist it, and it comes out. Wow, I didn't know that. It was really awesome. I was putting my finger in here, but okay, you put it in the groove and it clicks. Now, if you go to the groove again, you could take it all the way off. 
if you want. But for me, I want to keep it like that. And it's cool because if it's like that, all you have to do is push your rope through and it'll, well, depending on the size, I think if you had a bigger, this is 11, I think 11 and a half millimeter. Okay, so all I could have to do is click that and then this one here. And now I don't have to put my finger in there. I just bring it in, grab my rope, bring it in and then it, it clicks, pops it, you know, away. And then you can take your rope out. Anyhow, that was really pretty cool. <laughs> I'm little, still learning about it. And man, there's so many good things about this. It's awesome. So this is the uh, Rope Runner Pro using it in an MRS system and ascenders. Another option that you can use with this uh, cool tool. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this. I want to explain that it's anytime you're doing something new, remember to do it low and slow. So there you go. Rope Runner Pro MRS system with ascenders. Like always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do. And please share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.